Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Viaran and today I'm bringing you the tips and tricks video for all diamond LMGs on Black Ops 3. Now the LMGs were actually pretty easy, I did um, I think I did the Dingo on Hardcore and the BRM on Hardcore, the Dredge I did on Hardcore and then the Gorgon I did on Core because I think it's like maybe two shot kill. And it's just one of them guns where you have to sit back. And because it's two shot kill, if it was on hardcore, it would be one shot kill. And if that one shot isn't a headshot, then you just don't get the headshot. It's as simple as that. However, if it's on core, you can get, say if you shoot him in the neck the first time, yeah, you have another try to get the headshot. And it just wor it worked out better. Uh, my favourite one to do was probably the Dingo. I had a lot of fun with the Dingo. I've uploaded many gameplays using the Dingo. And it is it is very fun. The worst one to do was probably the Dredge. And that's because the Dredge is a six round burst. And I don't know, it's just difficult to do. I can't really explain it. It's just when when you use it, you'll realise how difficult it is to do. So we'll hop straight into the video with the BRM. The BRM is an all-round all-round good gun. It's pretty much like the Dingo. It has a good iron sight, which is why I don't pour sight on it. But I've got I've got the quick draw, the grip. You don't necessarily need the grip as it's one shot on hardcore, and that's what I used it on. So you don't necessarily need the grip. But I've got the stock. And the fast mags. The fast mags helps a lot as it's it takes a while to reload. I think all the LMGs do on this game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they all do. But anyway, you got the quick draw for the faster ADS in which helps a lot for headshots. I'm not sure if these have high caliber. No no they don't. But the grip isn't really needed as it's one shot kill anyone anyway on hardcore but I'd still use the grip if I was playing core. You got the stock so you can move faster while ADSing, which is a big help. It helps you dodge bullets and all that stuff. And obviously the fast mags, I've already explained that. But that's the BR BRM class. Um some tips, I don't I'm not sure about tips because what I did is I stayed at a distance when using these guns. But what you want to do is stay to distance, make sure your gun's at head height. And if your reactions are quite quick, then you will get the headshot as the other person. Say if the enemy is coming around the corner and you're aimed head height and your reactions are quite quick, you will get the headshot straight away. But what you could also do is just head camp a lot, hide behind things, keep keep your gun at head height. And then maybe if you aim above something, say like, say like if you're unhunted and there's a guy in the building, if you aim just above the window ledge, it, there is a chance that he will be ducking and you will get the headshot. But you've got to be patient with these guns, guys. You've got to be very patient. Anyway, we'll hop into the dingo, which is, I'd say, the best one. Again, the grip, it's not needed. I only use this on hardcore, but I have I have only got five attachments and I don't like the silencer. But you got the quick draw again. I think it's pretty much the same. Yeah, the only thing that's different is the fast mags, and that's because I don't actually have it unlocked. But I will s switch out the grip for the fast mags as it is needed. So you got the same attachments. They all do the same job, and they all work well. The iron sights on this gun are really good, so you don't really need a sight. Anyway, you want to use this like you'd use the BRM. You can rush about a bit with this gun. I mean, I think it's really good. I, as I said, I uploaded some gameplays with it. And I wasn't exactly camping. I was running around on combine and all that. So that gun isn't isn't that bad. The Gorgon, this was probably... This was probably the worst one to do. But you need the sight on it. The iron sights aren't really that good. If you you, you can use the iron sights, then by, by all means, don't put a sight on it. But anyway, you want the quick draw for the faster ADS, which is vital on this gun. You want the fast mags, as it takes a while to reload. And you want the rapid fire, because the fire rate is so slow. Rapid fire is a must-have on this gun. 
now we've got one more space so I'd say I'd say put one of the lunges on so you can take stuff down as you will be camping a lot with this gun it's very difficult to run around with it and now I'm going to have given gunsmith to show you the last one as I haven't unlocked it the 48 dredge we'll just call it the 48 dredge the camo diamond guys the diamond camo on the like machine guns I don't think it looks that good that's just my opinion the iron sights on this dredge are quite good I do like the iron sights but everyone not everyone will but I'd say putting four attachments on n not the grip because it's a six round burst if you aim for the chest then the gun will go up a lot more with that first burst and you will get the headshot and um I'd say put something like ex extended mags on. Extended mags is a good part as the bullets do run out quite quick. So guys, that is the tips and tricks video for the light machine guns. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. And as always, if you're new to the content and you like what you see or the content helps you out, leave a subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. And as always, guys, I'll see you guys on the next video.